dragon's milk recipe is uh, higher gravity, and it's also made to be barrel aged. It's the beer that we make that needs the most time and care and love and attention, um, and it's just, it's always been its theme. To make great beer, you need great ingredients. So we put a lot of work into the quality control of the incoming ingredients. Specifically with the Cooperages in Kentucky, we spend a lot of time working with those guys to make sure we get only the best bourbon barrels for Dragon's Milk. We get our base malt from Canada. We get our water from beautiful Lake Michigan. We get our hops from uh, the Pacific Northwest. And we get our bourbon barrels from Kentucky. The brewing process starts with your raw ingredients. Uh, we receive uh, those ingredients in-house. In Dragon's Milk case, we'll have you know, chocolate malts, some caramel malts, uh, some flaked barley to give like body. And then we will put those malts into a mill. We'll start augering into the uh, mash mixer where it'll combine with hot water. We'll then transfer from the mash mixer into what's called a water ton. Essentially a, a separation vessel. From that point, you then will divert into the brew kettle. Once so you get your uh, kettle full and hopefully boiling at that time as well, uh, and that's when we start adding uh, hops. The guys who work in that area, um, they, they need some time for the beer to be able to get to the right temperature. Purgatory is just a, a resting, a holding point where Dragon's Milk spends a little bit of time before it gets put into the bourbon barrels. Once the Dragon's Milk has spent a minimum of three months in our barrel warehouse, picking up the flavours from the bourbon barrels, it's taken back out of those bourbon barrels into holding tanks and that process is known as second coming. This year in New Holland we'll do 45 to 46,000 barrels of beer and Dragon's Milk will be a little bit over 50% of our production. We have a lot of people, spirits drinkers even, who have never really gotten into the beer realm, um, but then you add that bourbon in there and it adds a whole different complexity to the beer. It creates an awesome drinking experience for the customer. If you like bourbon, Dragon's Milk would be a really good segue into beer. You get some of those vanilla characters, the oak characters, a lot of things you get in, in bourbon. And that's a huge component of what the beer is. If you're a fan of red wines, generally you're looking for a bigger, more complex flavor. And I think Dragon's Milk definitely has that. There's layers of flavor there that I'm sure you can appreciate if you're really into red wines. All that passion that we've always put into Dragon's Milk has turned into I guess passion maybe that people can taste when they drink dragon's milk.